on a sea thought, I was reading about something that happened 40 or 50 years ago, not a few days ago. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. A woman in London today talking about an expose about quite literally an old boys club, a graphic revelation of sexism and harassment. As Margaret Evans tells us, it's an especially alarming moment in the wake of Me Too and Time's Up. A posh London hotel, an elite guest list, and a party where the wine keeps on flowing. And all in the name of charity. What's not to like? Well, the only women in sight were those who were paid to be there and look sexy, right down to the color of their underwear, black. Up for auction, lunch with the foreign minister, tea with the governor of the Bank of England, or a session with a plastic surgeon to spice up your wife. The other hotel. Which the images were recorded by an undercover reporter for the Financial Times. Madison Marriage posed as one of 130 hostesses hired for the event. She says it wasn't pretty. You know, touching their bums, touching, um, kind of grabbing them, putting them into their laps. Marriage says she herself was touched inappropriately by three men. I am surprised by the kind of institutionalized scale um, of this particular event. The event is known as the President's Club Charity Dinner, and it's been around for 33 years, a men's only affair that has raised millions of dollars for children's hospitals over the years. In the British Parliament today, there was outrage. Women were bought as bait. It is quite extraordinary to me, Mr. Speaker, that in the 21st century, allegations of this kind are still emerging. According to the Financial Times, the women who worked the event were told the men might be difficult and made to sign non-disclosure agreements. The hostesses were provided by an agency called Artista. This is some of their advertising. The company says it is not aware of any claims of sexual harassment. We should say that the Bank of England has issued a statement saying that it did not approve of any kind of prize for the auction, that the governor of the bank, Canadian Mark Carney, is deeply dismayed. Two major children's hospitals here are now saying that they will return any monies ever received by the President's Club, and that club itself is now saying it will shut down. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.